Stock market analysis and projections on the S&P 500. First, some important information. Please do take some time to read this slide. This is about our approach to analysis and what it means when you use it, especially the concept of you taking trade ownership. Make sure you read this slide. Stock market, S&P 500, SPY, multiple time frame analysis, and how will you know when a correction has started? Okay, so we're going to take a look at this analysis in the S&P 500. This is the SPY. On the left side is the weekly. On the right side is the daily. And uh, we have been recently showing you the SPX, but I get a ton of questions on SPY. So today we're going to look at the SPY. Let's first look at the longer term analysis. This is actually the intermediate term analysis. And what we have in here are our cycle brackets on the bottom. If, so if you're looking at this for the first time and you're brand new, on the bottom are, is a drawing tool that simply tells you that this is uh, the analysis uh, of the cycles if they were moving ideally. In other words, they go up half the time, they come down half the time. That's the ideal cycle. However, what happens is, is that they get skewed. In other words, when they're bullish, they peak later in the cycle, as you see here and here and going on right over here. When they're bearish, they peak early in the cycle, as you could see, and then they break key lows and they keep moving to the downside. Also, it's important to understand momentum conditions. And here you could see the momentum turning down right over there with our reversal scout. That is a level four uh, tool that you can have. And uh, that's uh, uh, important if you are interested in understanding the intermediate term analysis. We keep that on here. You can also use the slim ribbon. The upward turn right over here told us that the bottom was in place right there. And then we get into this uh, period right over here where it's been rallying up that whole time. And you could see the strength. This minor cycle right over here brought almost no decline. You can see that here. It's the same thing that you saw over here when we have a swamp cycle. Swamp meaning this correction right over here couldn't really happen because this upward force was so strong. So you just get this sideways correction right in here. So now what happens is, is that usually when you get into the second half, when it's a very strong market, as you see right over here, it rallies for part of the time, and then what happens is it peaks, and then there are money, there's money flowing out at, in uh, both of the cycles, and when you get that nesting, or both of them pushing to the downside, you get the bigger corrections, and you can see that right in here, in each of those areas of the, where the yellow ovals are, those are the periods of risk, and the market does fall. Our period of risk that we're showing in here begins sometime <coughs> in late March and then goes all the way through potentially through May. So this looks to us like the, there will be a topping in here. Now this is uh, right over there is the dominant 138.2% Fib extension. That comes off of this whole bigger cycle right over here. And then there's the monthly right over there. That's the monthly 100% Fib extension. And that gives us a target resistance area right over here that is around, let's call it just 520, something like that. And this level over here is 525. That's how those show up. Now, there are some higher ones up over there. We're not projecting there yet. That would be uh, only if we got through these levels, and that's up at 537. So that's not a level that we're looking for right now. So this is really the resistant zone that we see in here, around 520 to around 525 uh, there in the SPY. Now, once there's a topping in here, then we go into this corrective period. And the downside projections are right over here, which is around 475. That would, that would be uh, only about an 8% correction uh, down to there, all the way down potentially to here, which is 451. Uh, and that would be uh, about a 14% correction. So that would be pretty big. Remember, this one right over here was 10.9%. So it's pretty reasonable to expect that the 475 area will be tested in this correction. Though, you see this 23.6, that's 492. 
that would be acceptable if it pulled down to that level over there, but that would only be about a five, five and a half percent correction. But that does happen in very strong markets. So that's what we would expect. We're also, you can see over here where these rising phases come in. Once there's a correction in here, which is a very strong likelihood, the market will very likely move to new highs again. And all along, no matter the timing of the corrective period, we believe that the market would be strong well into the later parts of 2024. So that doesn't change it. We're just looking for a correction right over here. So that's the uh, looking at the intermediate weekly. And on the right side here is the daily chart. And let's just bring this up over here a little bit bigger. And you can see in here that there are two dominant cycles and four minor cycles that are showing. And what we do here is we, once the cycle is completely finished, then we, we show you the actual cycle lines. And while it's the cycle is in action, we kind of break that into what we call like a slim cloud, uh, which is where you can see there's actually two channels in here and the support resistance. It's important to note the slim ribbon, this is where it turned positive. Each of these minor cycles has had a positive slim ribbon. It's gotten support in the slim ribbon and then moved up again. Also, the slim ribbon PO on the bottom, a level four indicator, has continued to give you positive readings. When it's green, the slim ribbon is positive. When, uh, uh, if you're using think or swim, then the bars are all going to be green because it's positive. And each of these arrows tells you there are upside momentum resumptions. And you can see that in here, all of those fantastic uh, pieces of information that you can use. And you would only have long side biases in here. There's no reason to be on the short side until the market tells you. Even though we have discussed the corrective periods and the fact that there was resistances on this weekly chart that were lower than this, there has never been a point to sell the market or never been a point to short the market. Of course, you can always sell and take profits, but we have never said to short this market and we won't until the market tells us to. Now, what will tell us to? Well, this cycle over here, and you can see if I point at it, that points out to May 20th where that ends. And if you look over here, this points out to around the middle of May. So this corrective period on the weekly aligns with the corrective period out over here in the daily. We expect that what's going to happen is that this next cycle out over here, which we don't have projected yet, will rally and then fail and break key levels. For the one we're in right now to break the key level where the market would likely turn down or give us that indication would mean that over this next week and a half or so, it would have to sell off very hard. Getting under 496.50 would be the first warning, and then under 490.72 would be a breakdown and would tell us the correction had started. Once the next low is established in here, then we'll have new breakdown levels. But for right now, we're just looking for a pullback in here, and it's reasonable to get down to 507 to around 501 here in this next week and a half. This support right over here is 497 approximately, and below 497 would be a warning for the next cycle. Right now, we're just going to look for some modest pullback in here over this next week and a half into this third week of March. And then after that, we will be projecting again. Now, what will that projections look like? Well, I can just grab this right over here and show you that, well, it would be likely that from some support level, it would be moving up over here. We will have established another low important level. And then at some point, it will be peaking in here and then turning low lower out over here and once it breaks the key low this cycle here out into May is likely to be the one that has that much steeper correction. So I wanted to show you how I would be projecting that right now everything is still positive we're looking for modest pullback in the next week week and a half and then another rally as we start to form a top in here. This key area of resistance there around 520 and then right up over here around 527. So that's slightly a uh, higher number here than we see on that monthly Fib extension. And this certainly could get up in there before we get into the failure that we expect and the significant selling that we see out over here uh, potentially 
in the April and May period. So uh, the, the actual bottom trough here, the synchronization between the daily and the weekly comes out to around the third week of May. That's on this cycle here and on this cycle here, and we would expect to see that significant decline. I really think that it's reasonable to get down to about that 475 area uh, that you see uh, right over there. Uh, from the area that we peak now at 518 and potentially even lower than that. That wouldn't be much of a correction and it's reasonable to expect that in this market. This is something you must see if you are an active trader in the markets. Announcing the Aslim Day Trader Service 2.0 launch date 31124. And this is the most amazing collection of custom tools that I have ever seen for active traders. Amazing resources and 50 years trading, I have never seen anything like this. Our team has been building this for six months and you're gonna see something that is incredible. On the left, you can see the uh, impulse monitor. What this tells you looking here as and this is set up for four of the indexes that everybody trades, what the conditions are of the market. So it's green, yellow, or red. And in this case, you're seeing all green. So the market is in strong conditions. That means that there is upside energy in the market and it is likely to continue upside to the upside because of the inertia that's in the market, the energy that's in the market and notifications that you can see based on when these things change. This one in the middle is my favorite strategy. It's the eight minute strategy. And what you get here is our strategy conditions right here. So you can see when they're green, you have a strategy condition that is likely trade on. And when it's yellow, there's no trade. And when it's red, it's trade on on the downside. And these are the different aspects, the inputs in that strategy. And when they're all in alignment, then these signals go on and it really tells you when it's trade on in the eight minute strategy. Also add to that Matt's intraday price zone roadmap. This is support resistances and it gives you a great sense of bias in the individual indexes. So it's S&P 500, NASDAQ and the Russell and you have our support and resistance zones and the yellows areas are the acceleration zones and that tells you where it's likely to keep accelerating through that area or to find support or resistance. As you could see, support being found right over here on the down day. And in the yellow zones, when it gets in there, it's pretty likely it's going to move all the way through it. So you can see, and when the uh, when things are changing, then you get our reversal scout in there. And there are two versions of it, the swing and the scalp reverse, reversal scout. And this is just so amazing as it will be a great guide to you. All of these tools as to which are the strongest and which of the weakest indexes and which ones you want to choose to be on the long side or short side or both if you're a pair trader. Amazing tools that you see right over here. Let's look at the next screen and you will see that what we have here is uh, my turbo indicator. So what happens is, is that let's say it's going up and it's green and telling you that in this case, the QQQ is in an upward energy, uh, a period of upward energy. When the turbo goes on, energy is accelerating and that really helps you expand the, tra uh, expand your trade, improve your trade in both time and price. So you can stay in the trade longer. And of course, that's the key, maximizing winning trades. Also, we've added all of these symbols in here for those that are day traders, scalpers in the individual stocks or important ETFs. And you can see how it shows up here where it shows you whether or not it's positive or negative or whether the turbo is on and what the trade condition is based on that, based on my eight minute strategy. Just amazing. And then a change log that shows you when everything is changing. Add to that, this is just beyond belief. We're recording the entire day. In other words, you can go back and look at these strategies. You can go back and uh, review what happened during the whole day. And then you can see as we've recorded everything, how you could have improved your approach to the market on that day. 
Uh, just uh, you can go back and review many days because we'll be recording every single day. And this takes a shot of it every five minutes. And you can just move forward through the day and look at how these indicators are changing and how the trade strategy was changing and how it's trading around each of the support and resistances and reconstruct the day and really learn so much of how you could have approached the day. And our new cockpit is something like you've never seen. If you're a day trader, look at this. Day Trader Cockpit, it has all of that information on it on one page. We're going to be zooming this to you. Yes, it's live all day long. Uh, and you'll get our full suite of trade, trade, trading indicators and planning tools uh, for your active trading day trading. You'll get the impulse monitor. You'll get the eight minute trade condition. You'll see the charts that make up that eight minute condition. It's just so informative in there. And right over here on the top, you can see that is our trade signal line in there. And that is so important. And then again, you get Matt's uh, key uh, chart grid there on the three indicator, three uh, indexes that you see there and really gives you a fantastic idea putting all of this together as to what the conditions are of each of these indexes or the important key stocks that we have built in here all day, every day. There's no way that you can know more about the markets if you're a day trader than having the day trader cockpit. All of this, can you imagine? We're running a special right now, so lock in the introductory rate. First month, 30% off, only $24.50. What that means is that, well, you can cancel it at any time, but it only upgrades at $34.95 a month, and you're going to lock in that introductory rate. And then uh, it's the prices are going to go up, but not to you because you're going to get these fantastic low prices. You want to learn more? Go to AskSlim.com. Go to the top of the front page, click that Learn More button, or write to Matt at AskSlim.com for more information. He'll be able to answer any questions you have. This is the Ask Slim Day Trader Service 2.0. Nothing like this anywhere else. It's going to really raise your probability of success as an active trader in the market. Please do go to Ask Slim right now and subscribe.